watching this, thank you, thank you so much because this is my very first ever YouTube video. I can't even believe I'm saying that. So this year, I wanted to challenge myself to do things that I have always wanted to do but I never have done before. Number one is to start a YouTube channel. I have always wanted to start posting YouTube videos but I have always been scared to do so. But you know what? It is not too late. So I'm starting off 2023 strong. Number two, I have always wanted to take a solo road trip up the California coast. So tomorrow is January 1st, 2023, and I am starting the new year with a week-long road trip up to see the Redwoods in Northern California. I'm planning on stopping by a few places along the way, so come along with me on my very first solo road trip. Good morning, everyone. It is currently 7 a.m. on the first day of 2023. We are in LA right now, but I'm planning on spending the night in San Francisco. I am taking a long way because I want to go through the scenic route, so it's going to be like seven hours. So I rented this spacious car because I plan on spending at least one night in it, car camping in the back. Okay, I want to quickly show you guys everything I have. I have all my gear in the back. There is a lot of room in here when I fold the seats down, so that's great. This is the car, so pretty. I have like air mattress, heated blanket, duffel bags, pillows, everything. I have two huge bags of food right here. I am very excited. went to the gym one random Wednesday morning and while I was running on the treadmill I thought you know I haven't been out in nature in a while let's take a solo road trip up to see the redwoods so here we are following through with my plans because I'm trying to be better at that we finally made it it's so pretty live near the beach in LA forever but the beaches up here in Northern California are unmatched it's so gorgeous also I <laughs> there's so many people around me <laughs> watching me vlog but I'm not used to vlogging so they don't really know me and I don't know them so in my head whatever it's okay oh no it's okay I'm fine thank you this guy was watching me vlog and um, he was like, oh, is this for your Instagram? And I was like, Haha, no, it's just for a video. And he's like, let me follow you on Instagram. I'm like, okay. And then he goes, you should put this on your dating profile. It looks like you like to travel and you like nature. And um, I'm like, yeah, that's a great idea. So I just left because that was really embarrassing and I didn't know what to do. Um, is this how it's gonna be from now on? to San Francisco. I think that a trip is very healing. Last summer, I went on a solo trip to Italy and as a young female solo traveler who doesn't speak any Italian, who has never gone to Italy or the Malfi Coast, I was terrified in the beginning. But you know what? I had a blast by myself. And you know why I went on that trip? To get over my ex. Did it help? Absolutely. So this time, I'm also hoping that this trip will heal me. I always tell people that the law of attraction is real. Once you start having a positive mindset, you're more likely to attract positive things in your life. But whatever the opposite of law of attraction is, and that's what I absorbed and that's what I spent my mental energy on. Um, and that was not good. I learned my lesson. I shouldn't let one negative circumstance affect my mood, my energy, my ability to bring positivity back into my life. I didn't give myself space to breathe, but right now I am in nature. I quite literally have a lot of space to breathe. We finally made it. Five and a half hours later and I am in San Francisco, California. <laughs> Okay, so I just arrived in SF two hours ago and I'm staying over at my friend Erin's Hello! She's letting me crash for the night, or tonight. We're about to go to a concert. Oh my God. 
Who are we seeing? We're gonna see Davin. Davin! Um, famous EDM artist. Yes. Mm -hmm. We're like, kind of matching, like the same pattern, you know? This is Marco. Marco. <laughs> uh, your googly eyes. He's so creative, so <laughs> inspirational. Look at the lights, right it's so cute. That's so cool. I'm struggling. Really? <laughs> this isn't even the worst. Oh gosh. Hi guys, it is day three and I am off to the first campsite. You know, I'm not really much of a nature girl normally, so it's funny that you guys are seeing this vlog for the first time because um, your perception of me is probably so different than what I am normally like. But anyways, I am at Samuel P. Taylor State Park. It's an hour drive from San Francisco and it is absolutely gorgeous. It's a coastal redwoods community, so there are beautiful trees everywhere. There's creeks running lots of greenery very peaceful I got here and I was so excited to camp out for the night but I got here and the park ranger told me that the park is closed for the day because um, there is rain and trees falling I'm pretty sad so I will be going back to San Francisco for the night and hopefully tomorrow I will be able to make it up to Humboldt the park ranger mentioned that there is a nearby walking trail called Devil's Gulch so here I am Devil's Gulch It is day four of my trip and I'm on the way to Humboldt. There is currently a flood warning in the Bay Area and um, there is intense rain out here. And I have two hours and 48 minutes left to go. It is a three hour drive. I'm driving as careful as possible. I am caffeinated and ready to go. I truly believe that you can be alone but not lonely. I have struggled with alone time recently. In the past, when I was young, I was always an introvert, but as I grew older, I became more and more extroverted. And sometimes it comes to the point where I feel discomfort and anxious when there aren't people around me. As I practice more alone time, I've become to like it a lot more. Like, I actually enjoy doing stuff alone rather than with other people sometimes. I was listening to a podcast earlier, Your Psychology of Your Twenties. I'll link it down below. But in the podcast, one of the episodes mentioned that being alone and maybe feeling lonely is sometimes a good thing because it really allows you to reevaluate your relationships in your life and to really see whose absence is the most missed. And I think that's truly valuable. I want to take this alone time to really recognize which relationships I should put more of my mental energy into and which relationships that aren't as valuable and maybe I can even get rid of in order to feel full and to feel satisfied and content. That's why I sometimes like taking trips for myself. Don't get me wrong, I love traveling with other people, but I feel like sometimes in certain situations, like being out in nature, being alone is really a valuable thing. This is insane because it's raining, but because there's so much dense tree coverage, I don't feel a drop of rain. through my entire three-hour drive here but um, we made it the drive was still so spectacular 10 out of 10 am I a little crazy for driving in this rain probably do I recommend this drive to everyone in intense rain absolutely not but anyways here we are I am staying in this little inn in Redway and it's just a few miles from the Avenue of the Giants entrance to Humboldt Redwood State Park
I asked the owner of the hotel last night where he thought the best views of the forest were and he said that it was going to be a little further up north. It's around like 30 minutes away. It's called Rockefeller Forest and that's where I'm headed. I'm driving through Avenue of the Giants. It is absolutely beautiful. It's a 31 mile scenic drive that cuts through like 51,000 acres of redwoods. I think you can only find this in Northern California so I really recommend that everyone goes here at least once in their lifetime. It's just so amazing. Really, I, I don't know. I've just never seen so many trees. I'm literally inside a tree. Last year, 2022 was filled with so many ups and downs. I started last year with a corporate job in a penthouse suite, a partner, and steady investment growth. I ended last year broke, unemployed, and single. Okay, for real though, if you compare all your life events with each other like that, it's kind of hard to see yourself in a positive light, especially when you're focused on the negative. I had such good memories last year, but I really did end it on a bad note. I think the main reason why all these negative things happened all at once so quickly is because I didn't let myself breathe and I didn't properly deal with one situation before facing another. My mind was continuously running with 5,000 thoughts all at once and I couldn't even put it into the present. So for this year, one of my goals is to actually be more conscious about where my mind is and if it's wandering off into the past or too far into the future, to put it back into the present. Because I can't change the past and I can't control the future, so I want to make most of what I have and where I am at now. Oh my god, that was intense. I cannot get enough of these trees, but sadly, I do have to go back home today. Thank you all so, so much for watching this video. It truly means a lot. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys soon.